All right, where are we in this? In this, okay, we have the step is to create a discovery server. Uh, that discovery server is Eureka server. So to do it, you, we use Spring Initializer, right? Spring Initializer is gotten from start the Spring .io. So let's go to start the Spring .io. Start the Spring .io, and then we create a discovery server and that discovery server is going to be eureka so let's call it um so the the group id should be com dot python the genius the artifact should be discovery server so if we go to options um discovery server is the name that that is fine so let's call it discovery server mm -hmm. so so now in the dependency section you need to make sure you select uh eureka because that will be the dependency that is going to make this application a discovery server so i'm going to select eureka discovery server at this time so this eureka server uh web so this also okay so let's see if we are missing out something. So create a uh, add Eureka server dependency. So I'm not sure we ne actually need to add a web dependency. We need to just add Eureka server. So, but I've added it. It doesn't it doesn't change anything. I'm going to down generate this project. So I've generated it. So I'm simply going to go to find it and then copy it into. I'm copy it into the okay so i have it so i'm going to delete the zip file so this is discovery server i'm simply going to copy it or copy it and put it right into the hospital information system so now we have four uh, four different applications you can see there so the next thing i'm going to do let's check where we are in the stream of time so i've done this so i'm going to just mark it as green so I'm going to open this project in in Spring Boot. So to do that, I'm going to simply say file, open project from file system, and I'm going to go to directory, and I'm going to go back and choose discovery server and say select folder. Okay, and just say finish. All right, so let's see, it comes up. You can see, let me just show you what is happening. So. You can see at this point, it say update Marvel project configuration 1500. So it's trying to add the initial dependencies that is needed to start up this project. Okay. All right. So again, I'd like to say I'm proud of you. Uh, if you have come to this extent, you are really doing well. Thumbs up to you. And Feel free to let me know if you have any challenges at all. Let me know in the comment box below. I'm going to personally respond to you. All right, so let's see. The discovery server, as you can see, it is here now. So we have it. So let's see where we are. So we have add enable Eureka server annotation to the discovery server application. So I'm going to go to discovery server, going to SRC main. So I have the discovery server here. So I'm going to add that enable uh, discovery, enable Eureka server, right? Enable Eureka server, yeah. Enable Eureka server. So this is the annotation to add. I'm just going to press control shift pro. So what next are we going to do? Uh, let's see. So the next step, I've done this. So the next step is ensure that Spring Cloud dependency is in form.xml. Now this is very dicey. Sometimes it's a bit, a bit dicey to get this done. But let's do it. So what we are trying to do now is we are trying to uh enable spring cloud dependency in the form.xml of the eureka server okay so 
Um, at this point, I'm going to actually go to copy part of the source code. So let, let's let's open the pom.xml. So let's see. I actually should have done this when I was creating this application in Spring Initializer, but I don't know why I did not. Okay, so it seems to be there. So you see, and then uh, it's a cloud that started on next place, Eureka server. So I think we have it. So let's see what next to do. Ensure that Spring Cloud dependency. Okay, I've ensured that. Update the application properties uh, file with register with Eureka and fetch registry to false. Okay. So we are going to go to the Eureka, uh, this the discovery server application properties. I want to enable uh, disable two things. So normally when we create uh, a Eureka server, a Eureka server tries to find other Eureka servers. So if it finds another Eureka server, it registers with that server as a client. So they kind of becomes client and server at the same time. But what we are trying to tell this server is that there is no other server available. So this is the only server. Let it not try to discover any other server, any other servers out there. So we are going to say this is where we are update we register Eureka and fetch registry to false. So register register sorry register register with Eureka is going to be false. Then the next one is so basically we are trying to tell it don't try to search for any additional Eureka server. So I'm going to save it, just save. All right, so where we are, so we've done this. The next thing we are going to do now, we are going to now test, um, we are going to test this application to make sure everything is okay. We are actually going to test the Eureka server to see how it works. So now I'm going to just go to run the service discovery. So I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to say run as I'm going to say run as Spring Boot application. And it does its thing. And one thing I want you to take note of, take note of the port where Eureka server is going to run. It has a default port where it runs. And I want you to take note of that default port. So I'm going to just Shift this to this place. Okay, so I think it should be running. Okay, let's let's go and try to see. Let's test it. So let's go to HTTP localhost eight. 8761, this should be the port where Eureka uh, server should actually run. Okay, let's see if it runs in a different port. Let's try 8080. Okay, it's, so for some reason, it's running in port 8080. So you can see Eureka server works perfectly. Uh, let me reduce this. So now you can see that it tells us uh, environment, it's test environment, current time, uptime is one second, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to just shrink this so that you'll be able to see. So that is how Eureka server works. So we've succeeded in creating a Eureka server, and we've started it, and you can see it's off. So let's see where we are. So we've tested Eureka server, and that is fine. So in the next lesson now, we are going to publish all the three microservices to the Eureka server and make sure that they are registered or published with Eureka server. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button below this video right now. And that way we can do this together. If you have any challenge whatsoever, let me know in the comment box below. Just leave me a comment and tell me this is what challenges you have and I'm sure to respond to you.